All right, Al. Al will return in our next half hour and again at six with more analysis of this and there's also some commentary. The Chiefs felt the strain of a losing record all year and so did the fans. ESPN's attendance figures showed the Chiefs at 25th in the NFL, filling only 89% of the seats at Arrowhead for the season. Fans made their opinions known by refusing to attend home games at Arrowhead Stadium. Fox or Sean McDowell is live after talking with fans fed up with losing, but not sure they made the right move was made. Sean? Yeah, it's definitely a question that needs to be posed, Susan and Phil. Uh, Chiefs ownership wanted a change, partly because they may have listened to a restless fan base. Romeo Cornell is gone from the Chiefs sideline after a 2-14 and season, and Chiefs fans stood beside him all 16 games this season, even though during their first pair of games this year alone, the combined score was 75 to 41 and Kansas City was on the wrong side of that scoreboard and now there is a change. Chiefs fans say that they had to see some change on the sideline and Chiefs ownership listen making a big change in the primary seat at the head of Arrowhead. Coach Cornell knows this is a performance business. Um, I don't think uh, it surprised him uh, that we decided we needed to move in a different direction. Chiefs owner Clark Hunt takes to the airwaves, making his thoughts known just hours after firing first-year head coach Romeo Cornell. Danny Klinkscales has been at the mic of this radio station for 12 years, serving as a listening ear for frustrated fans who say it's time for change in Chiefs' kingdom. This franchise has had little pockets of uh, winning football, but they haven't been to a Super Bowl since 1970. They haven't won a playoff game since 1993. The post lunchtime crowd at Johnny's Tavern in Overland Park is just as disgusted with bad football. They're among the fans who began to stay home instead of going to Arrowhead for home games, which the Chiefs won only one out of eight this season. We snapped these picks at the Chiefs home game against Cincinnati, and empty seats were plentiful at that gathering in November. Whether or not Cornell should bear the blame for a 2-14 and 14 season is up for debate. I think he kind of got a um, bad rap. I'm not sure Romeo deserved to be fired. I would feel bad that anybody would get fired, but I think he shares a lot of the responsibility. You know, you put so much time and energy into you know, being a fan, and then you go 2-14. and 14. You know, I used to have season tickets, and uh, I was thinking about re renewing them before this year. Overall, were you pleased with what you were seeing? On the field? <laughs> yeah. No. No, not on the field. What disappointed you the most? Losing. Losing disappointed me. And, you know, perhaps that one interview, that gentleman that we just talked to in that package hit on a key point. Ticket sales are definitely down this year. Disgusted fans were seen everywhere. We did many stories about fans dumping their tickets onto websites like uh, Craigslist.com and certainly StubHub.com, selling their tickets for just pennies on the dollar just to get rid of them and not take that financial loss. Now as the Chiefs move forward, the question for the present time is, will there be another firing? And certainly as Al mentioned, who's gonna be the next head coach? Overall though, who's to bear the blame for a two and 14 season? Would it be Romeo alone or will Scott Pioli join him on the unemployment line? Sean McDowell, Fox 4 News, working for you live at Arrowhead Stadium. Will Congress beat the 